Okay, hello and welcome to this video in which I want to discuss uploading custom thumbnail images. Now, the reason why I recommend that you do that uh, and is because you get to pick the default image that's displayed within the, you know, the thumbnail image for your video. YouTube, as a rule, they take segments from within your videos. I think it's the first third, the midway point and the last third or something like that. And it's not normally uh, maybe the best image that you want. Likewise, uh, if you upload your own custom thumbnail image, you can make those eye-catching. You can make those your video look enticing. And therefore, basically draw people to your video rather than other people's videos within YouTube and the YouTube feed. So if basically uh, your video appears with a custom thumbnail image uh, for somebody's search, and it looks attractive or it looks enticing, well then people are more than likely going to click into your video rather than somebody else's video. So it's a great way to draw people in. Uh, the same as obviously it'll it'll be rendered uh, if your video is shown within the Google search results and anywhere else that your video is embedded using the YouTube uh, embed code your custom thumbnail is also displayed. So it makes the video basically and the default player look really, really nice compared to the current custom thumbnails that YouTube kind of picks. So really to do that, it's quite easy. You need to first and foremost have your account verified. What we'll do is we'll go into, we'll click the top right icon and then we're going to go into the YouTube settings. As I said, you need to go into view additional features and have your account verified and have your custom thumbnails enabled. Once you have that enabled, uh, what you then need to go into is video manager. Choose the video that you want to obviously upload the custom thumbnail image. So because this one's scheduled, we'll actually leave this alone and we'll go and edit the next one that's already been published, which is how to verify your YouTube channel. We're going to go into that and you'll see here you have a choice of three custom thumbnails or default thumbnails that YouTube themselves sort of render out and pick. But what you also have is a little icon down here now that says custom thumbnail. Click that and basically it then sends you to go and pick uh, the custom thumbnail that you've uh, created. Now I do this in Photoshop. You can use any sort of photo editing software that you're used to using. And obviously go and create a nice image and then get that uploaded into your channel. Now, generally I use the 16-9 the ratio. Uh, so you want to do that as well. Let me just find the image. Verify the YouTube channel, which is this one here. So I'm going to select that image. That's the one that I want. I'm going to select open. It's currently uploading this. And basically I want to set this as my default uh, custom thumbnail image. Just give it a second whilst it uploads. It's basically now uploaded and it's selected. It's automatically selected this as my custom thumbnail image. All that I need to do now is save the changes. So once I save the changes, uh, I'm going to return back to my video manager. As we can see here, and it's now showing as a custom thumbnail image. So what I'm also going to do is I'm going across to broadcastgeeks.com and this is the same thumbnail image that I have uploaded for the video. It's also the default image for the blog post. If I now load this blog post, so now as I hit the website, uh, basically you can see this is the default blog post image. But as I scroll down, you'll actually see now that the video itself also has the exact same image and obviously a nice play icon. So basically this is what people will see in also within the YouTube feed. And it's more enticing than a sort of screenshot or a paused uh, portion of my video. Uh, what it basically does is it tells people what they're going to get whenever they watch the video. And of course it entices them in to obviously watch the video drawing people towards watching our videos, engaging with us, and obviously liking our videos.